hi guys welcome to another tutorial so we are back in the third one where we are going to display the text on these images so without a further ado let's get right into it so we have applied the radius already what I will do here is I will go in here and take a container because we want to display the text and container can have a child here and we can name it text and what is the text that we are going to display the category name okay that's great so what I can do here is uh, I can just see it right away so here we can category name categories index category name Okay, I can try to run this app and okay the category name is here and it's probably not so visible you can see it here yep so what I can do here is like work with the styles okay we need a comma in here style text style we can say the color of the text is colors dot white font weight can be bold or w500 okay and now what we will see is the text is in white and we can give it a size also size of 18 maybe yeah the size is good and now how do we bring this in the middle so alignment alignment so no we don't need this So our text is also being displayed as we had defined in uh, in our uh, in our uh, category model and uh, and the class where we were uh, sorry in in the yeah where we were working with the we were working with like adding the hard coding the categories yeah so what what we can do in here is uh, we we have taken all this and uh, i can so now the text you see is not so visible because the images are like bright or like you know you can have different images and it's always tricky how to display text on the image so what we can do is we can create a shadow by using a box and that can help us to you know create a fake opacity so what we can do here is we can just go into the container and write decoration box decoration widget and this container can have width same similar to our uh, image so it can cover and the height and the color should be black so if I save this now okay a problem and the border radius border radius is going to be similar to because we are creating a box um, circular circular we are creating a box on top of our image to create an opacity 
yeah it's hidden for now and we'll just we can just change this to black 26 okay yeah you see now our text is more readable and what i can do here is alignment alignment center so there we have it guys our text is being displayed nice and we can swipe and everything is working great so what i have done is like in the previous tutorial is i will just repeat myself and i will close this one <clears throat> excuse me what i have done is like we have we wanted to create widgets that we wanted to display so we had specific widgets that we wanted to display these are these were not unlimited we wanted like a general category we needed a health category we needed a sport category so what we had done is like we had first of all created a model created a named parameter constructor and we had created a method that returns a list this method returns a list and inside it we have created a new list in which we have hard coded our data and added it into this list so we have come back to our home page and what we have done is we have initialized our list and this list is equals to the method that returns us the list so what we have done in the end is we have taken we have taken a container in which we have made a list view build builder that returns a widget so we have created a widget by our uh, ourselves a template so that how we want to display our images and our text and we have used stack for it stack will help us to put uh, data on data like widget on widget so then after creating that template we have returned that template into the list view builder and what is happening here is guys let me tell you about the index it's like whatever the index let's say if i go to the category data so if entertainment is second so the index counts starts from zero zero one two three so here our entertainment is on zero so whatever the index is in that order our widgets will be displayed and if you come back in here so according to the widget position it will display our widgets so that's all for this tutorial and in the next one we will work on the how do we fetch the json response and we we will yeah we will move forward with the ui also so this part is done and thanks for watching